Okay, Alice, so I'm going to show you how I make little felt pictures. Uh, so first you need one of these little foam boards. And then just putting it on some other felt. And I kind of drew a little picture. Um, and then you use these specialty needles. They're called felting needles. So I take one of my felting needles. And all the needles are meant for different tasks. So I, I use the white one. For pictures so and then I have all these really fun different colors uh, to use so today I thought I would try to felt a, um, a little camper like a vintage one because I thought that would be fun so let's get started what colors do I want to use how about purple and pink? So then I go ahead and just take some of the purple, not even all that much, and then I have kind of a rough outline of where I want it to go, and then I just start punching it into the fabric. I'm gonna need more of this one. And I will try to speed up this part of the video for you. So I like to get the base of my picture done before I start adding any details. It's really easy to felt over what you've already felted on. So here, I'm, here I am, I'm just starting to add some of the details um, to the base of the camper. So here I have the base done and now I'm going to add a little door. So the door is a little see-through here, so I can keep adding more wool until it looks solid. I can even turn the wool on top of itself like you see there and keep felting it until it looks the way that I want it to look. So now I'm going to add a little window to the trailer. So here you'll see that I'm making the shape of the window first and then I'll work to fill it in. I'm going to add the base of the trailer and I'm going to make it complete with a little trailer hitch and a wheel. So the trailer is looking pretty complete right now, but when I was a kid, we always used to have lights on our camper in the campground. So I thought it would be fun to add a string of lights to the little camper. Oh, 
I just realized that we have no way to get in the camper. I'm going to add a little doorknob. And there you go. The camper's complete. Now we just have to peel it off the foam. Now you can put it in a little frame and then you have a cute little picture to put on the wall.